it's time to break out of the house load up my bug out moto van with my motorcycle and stuff and hit the road let's go for a ride let's go for a ride Today. For those of you guys that want to see the full tour that I did on this bug out moto van I'll include the link in the description and comment section of this video And if you want to do a van build yourself And you want to get stuff that I use to build this van If you go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my van stuff That's links to all the stuff I use to build this van And by the way the cost of the van and the build was less than ten thousand dollars guys And this is a Chevy the Express 3500 this has got the biggest V8 engine in it it's a one ton van guys absolutely amazing this thing drives as smooth as my Lexus man I love this van guys I think everybody should have a bug out moto van because I tell you if things get bad and you you say you lose your house or you get kicked out of your apartment or whatever it's nice to have a van set up like this where you can go live in it and live off grid and save a lot of money and enjoy having a good time out there too man I've been on two bug out van trips and I had an absolutely amazing time if you want to see the playlist on all the videos I did on my last two trips that's also my website at cyclecruiser.com but it's time for me to get the heck out of Dodge my plan is to head back out west and finish the trip that I had wanted to do back in 2016 which got cut short when my grandmother fell ill back in Ohio and I had to rush back and help her and I took care of her for three years until she passed away so I think it's time to get back in the bug out motor van head back out west and thoroughly explore Montana and I want to look for some land to buy and I've just always had a fascination with Montana. I did get a chance to touch part of it on my trip in 2016. But like I said, that trip got cut short. I absolutely love the mountains. I love out west. I used to live in Colorado. I had a home out there at one time. I lived out there for about roughly four and a half, five years. I also want to head back to my old stomping grounds in Colorado as well. But if you can think of any other cool places to go to, leave it in the comments below. And for those of you guys that live in Montana, what cool places should I go to there? I want to go to something really beautiful that has a beautiful lake with the mountain scenery and just really cool area. And also tell me, should I buy land in Montana? Is it worth it? Um, tell me. A lot of you guys are experts out there. I know some of you probably even live out there. I look forward to your advice and expertise and also, I'm thinking about swinging back to North Carolina mountains. I never really got a chance to thoroughly explore the area. And there's an abandoned amusement park in the mountains that you actually have to hike the mountain to get to, uh, which several people have done videos on. I would love to do a video on that. And some other abandoned places and ghost towns. And if you know of any cool ghost towns or abandoned places or haunted places or any super haunted places you want me to stay in, leave a comment below and tell me where to go. I'll do it. I'm game. You know what I'm saying? I stayed in the most haunted hotel room in America at the Stanley Hotel at Estes Park, guys. And I captured haunted phenomena on camera. That stuff doesn't freak me out. I find it more intriguing than anything, but... I'll do anything. Leave a comment below. But also, I want to go check out Utah. Just head out west, northern Texas. Um, I'm going to check out my family out in Oregon uh, and Washington, the state of Washington. Just have a good time on my trip and share the experience with you guys. Um, I'm thinking about adding a utility trailer to tow with the van, um, a small one where I can put my bike and gear in. That way it'll free up some space in here because um, I hate actually, you know, it's awesome being able to park my bike inside this van and have it with me. But it's it's a really pain in the butt to to pull the bike in and out of here. This this bed does go up. I know for those of you guys that don't know this van set up this van, this bed goes up here and allows me to bring my bike in and out. Um, and I have to every time I pull it in I have to put a motorcycle cover on it um, Because otherwise I get that motorcycle stank inside so that's really irritating It'll be awesome to just have a trailer where I can a small utility trailer where I can roll it up in there 
and um, and that way I can have more space so we'll see how that works out I had actually even thought about doing another bug out moto van build with a four transit all-wheel drive extended van with full roof height you know the tall roof and turning the back portion of the van a small portion of it into a garage area where I'll have my supermoto turned sideways that way it takes up less space stored with all of my gear and stuff and it's separate from the living quarters um, because you know my supermoto is so lightweight it's only 265 pounds so I can easily just pick it up and turn it sideways and put it in the back but I really don't feel like doing another van build to be honest with you it takes a lot of blood sweat and tears and time and honestly, I just want to hit the road now. But in the future, I'm, I'm thinking seriously about doing another bug out moto van build. When maybe hopefully I'll get motivated in the future. But for now, it's about planning my trip to head out on the road. A lot of you guys ask me about buying a new motorcycle. Honestly, I can't think of another motorcycle to get right now, though, man. I love my supermoto so much. There's so many cool bikes out there. But honestly, I really don't want another super bike for the streets. I've had, you know, three of them. And I tell you, I'm tired of getting tickets. The cops love to give you tickets on those. And the last, you know, in the last ticket that I got on that Aprilia Tuono that I had, I got for doing 30 miles per hour over in the park system. And uh, man, I, that could have been really bad for me, guys. But I got my Better Call Saul attorney and he reduced it to a non-traffic moving violation, zero points. And uh, phew. But I, I'm tired of pressing my luck with super bikes because all you can do on those things is just speed. Just, you know. And I, I'm tired of, I have way more fun on my supermoto just busting wheelies, riding up staircases and doing donuts off road, messing around here and there. And it, that's fun to me, man. You know, and cops don't bother me on my supermoto. Any super bike I had, they always would tell me or just wait for me to mess up, man. So I, I, I don't want to lose my license. <laughs> so any super bike or super sport I get in the future is going to be relegated to the track only, man. Maybe I'll get one and cruise around the street a little bit here and there, but it'll be mainly for the track. But that's in the future. Right now, I'm just focused on getting the heck out of here. I'm free to do whatever I want, go anywhere I want, and I'm ready to roll, man. But I want I want you guys to leave a comment. Let me know with some great places maybe I, I should go check out. Stay tuned for my trip, my future bug out van trip series and I'll be doing motor vlogs in various locations throughout the United States so stay tuned for that guys uh, love talking with you I look forward to conversing with you in the comments uh, don't forget to subscribe to my all-in-one motorcycle channel and also subscribe to my other channel bug out moto till next time catch you guys later deuces thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Book Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Book Out Moto.